Hello guys, my name is Garfeet, I am the leader of the Beetle Racing Guild race and today I want to show you how to use a steering wheel controller and a Beetle in Guild Wars 2. So I've had this steering wheel for a while and I never really figured out how to connect it to the game because I actually wanted to try and use it for Beetle Racing but never really managed to figure out how to get that done until I found out a, that uh, there exists a program or several programs that allow you to transform the steering wheel inputs into actual mouse and keyboard inputs and with this you can control the beetle in game and I will show you quickly now that if I turn the steering wheel from left to right you can see actually the mouse changing position and we can use this to control the beetle. So before I show you how it actually works in game let me quickly show how I managed to set it up so I have uh, this program called uh, Anti-Micro Anti -micro. and uh, basically it just recognizes the steering wheel that I use and um, the, the, the keys that I, I can press with it. So here we have on uh, axis 1, so well axis 1, we have um, the mouse controls connected and you can see if I turn left or right, the, the program recognizes it and it connects it to the mouse going left or the mouse going right. Here we have axis 2, which is connected to the pedal that is included with this uh, Thrustmaster T150 force feedback steering wheel. So there is a gas pedal and a brake pedal included. Um, this axis number 2 is connected to the brake pedal, so if I would press it, uh, uh, the game would just be pressing S after reaching this threshold. Um, there's not really many instances where pressing S is needed uh, in game, but if you want to break, then well, there is a button for it. The same for the uh, gas pedal here. It's connected to W, so if I hold down the the gas pedal, it will actually start um, start moving forward. And let me set it quickly to max. Um, Now this button here, um, button 1, is connected to A and it is the button here on the back side of the steering wheel. And A is of course going left or strafe left in my case. And I wanted it to be connected to uh, this side because uh, being able to press A or D while drifting in a certain direction is actually really useful. And because it helps you take sharper turns if you, uh, if you ever need to. Um, so the A button is this guy, then the D button is this guy. I also have this uh, image of the steering wheel to go with it, right? So these uh, these handles on the back, A and D, A and D. Then we have uh, button number three, which is a V, which is basically the boost button, and it, it's the triangle button here on the steering wheel. We have uh, number four, which is this guy, and it's mount dismount. We have uh, number, button number 5, which is X, um, and that's uh, this guy, and it's um, it's a bond of vigor, very useful. And then here we have an interact key if we ever need to talk to people while on the beetle. Um, then the two most important buttons uh, that you need uh, next to being able to steer your wheel, which is space, and that's jump. It's connected to this button here, so uh, it's quite accessible uh, with the thumb. You can press it while steering or controlling, it's just always available right here. And the other important button is Drift, which is connected to C. And it's located on this guy, so again, I can just press and hold it while I'm steering. Uh, very easy. So last thing I want to show you for the control setup is also the control panel for the um, steering wheel. And basically uh, I just want to show that I have it set up so that it doesn't really have to turn far to really go to the uh, maximum turn angle, right? It's uh, I just have to turn it like 
I think about yeah this far to to reach the maximum, and I can just do that while while I can still control over all the buttons that I need to press, uh, more or less. So that's my setup. Now, let's just uh, quickly show you uh, in our uh, very own Beetle Guild Hall uh, racetrack. And the last thing we need to do to actually start racing is to turn on extra camera mode because, as you can see, we can only uh, use the mouse like this, but it's not really actually turning our camera. We need to be able to turn our camera if we want to do some beetle racing. So for that we just go into action mode and now we are ready to go. As you can see action use the wheel to turn around this little area here. Uh, the thing to note is that it's actually a bit difficult to control the horizontal position of the mouse or, or the camera in this case. Um, just because it doesn't really have the accuracy that uh, you would have with a mouse and uh, also the responsiveness is a little bit less because you actually have to turn the wheel uh, and, and, and wait until you have the right angle right so um, it's definitely more limited than using a mouse um, this is definitely something you only want to do just because it's fun to do uh, but it's, it's definitely not more practical than using a mouse and keyboard okay let's give it a shot uh, I will go down the race track and hopefully I will not make a full out of myself. Quite a sharp turn there and I do manage to get through more or less okay. Here, but it's fine. Let's see how it again. Ooh, I'm still down there.
this also that this is not really my normal muscle memory that I have for beetle racing, so I have to deal with that at the moment as well. Definitely will get easier if I just practice it a little bit more. But I haven't fallen off yet, so so far so good. not doing this with the speed I usually would with the master keyboard. And there is the finish line. That's the Gold Hole track done with steering wheel and gas pedal. Uh, thank you for watching again if you want to try this for yourself. The program that I use is Anti-Micro, but I'm sure there are also many other programs available for this actually that work just as well or even better. Uh, if you have uh, ever set up something like this uh, uh, yourself or if you want to try it, let me know in the comments. Uh, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.